All right. I don't know. I can't remember if this was controller or keyboard. It's been a minute since I had messed with it. Here lies the one and only GW. 1977-2017. Freaking sick. Who's the what sits there? Oh, we got a little flashy flash. Let's... I'll turn the music down just a little bit. I think running music at like 50%. Auto run. All these look pretty good. New game. Fucking prologue. Oh, very good. Day zero. 63 days remaining. Cowboy versus Warmageddon. Welcome, people trash. <gasps> it's voice. It wasn't voice in the demo. Welcome, player. I've been waiting for you. Let's get down to business. What you're about to witness is unlike anything you've seen before. It is the dawn of an era. Oh. The beginning of something and the death of many more. The wheel of events is already in motion. There is no going back now. So, are you ready? <laughs> Sorry, but you got no say here. Just keep your eyes peeled for the ride and make it through to the end. Whatever happens, Ah, uh, the style is really slick. This is just a game. By the way, name's Foam Gun. Foam Gun? May this be your first step into our otherworldly domain. Let's get this party started! Freaky Jam. <laughs> what? A turning point. A moment in time when you look back and wonder, how the hell did I become this? That's a mood. Sleepwalking at light speed. I finally caught up with myself. Oh. Have I reached the peak of all I could ever be? This is some, uh... Am I stuck Evangelion? on a looping mistake? Well, I guess you found your answers. It's about time I looked for mine. Rumble and struggle all you want, like you could shake it out of you. This is who you are, Dominic Shade. This robot! Cowboy P1 Gallo 07. Oh, I guess it was still just kind of fading out a little cutscene. Cowboy's cockpit. Seven minutes before the fight. Hey, kiddo. How you holding up? Oh, even these guys have voices. Oh, that's very exciting. They hadn't done the voices for the demo, but it's in the game. Great, dude. <laughs> Knife Leopard. I love him. Good to hear, because I'm about to crap my pants. How the hell do you manage that? I need to turn down the... <laughs> oh, that's extremely good. Every time you kip a skip a cutscene, an artist dies. Okay, let's kill one more. <laughs> yeah, years of hardship, training mind and body, and a dark cameo. Well, he's reading just White keep Fang. Your crap together. You can always bail out if things get too messy. You really sure about this? I bet you this pile of junk is worth some good pennies. 
Ain't too late. Duke. Duke the doggo. Come on, dude. It's for GW. He wouldn't leave us the big guy for no reason. I'm gonna turn this volume down just a hair. On that, because I'm afraid it's coming in really, really loud for you guys, and I don't want that, but volume mixing is hard. I know, I know. It's just that... <sighs> Scrap that. Where the hell's Shade? Don't know. He said he was going to take a leak or something. How long ago? 30 minutes, give or take. <laughs> These spaces are extremely good. Crap, kiddo. It's time. Buckle the hell up. And good luck out there. Does his belt say puddin'? an anime intro Oh, the style's extremely good. Oh no, a cat just beat the shit out of me. I'm a little surprised there's no voice acting for all this. It's got some vibes already. Oh, this is the same fight I think as as before, as the as the demo fight. Cut the move command. Use a tile to move. Moving spends MP. Moving points. Having got an attack bonus tile will grant a bonus damage to all your attack skills. Come 
move on top of enemy. Ooh, I can push them. I don't remember that being in. And or was it? I forget. Oh, push cost is two movement points. Still attack half ass punch blindfold shooting. I have nothing. <laughs> we'll just defend. I can reload a slug, but I don't really have anything. Oh, I can't move forward. I just go out the end of turn. Skills have a range. Defense skills are applied to self. Skills require action po Okay, as action points. APs are punished every turn. God, I love how every attack has a logo. It's so good. We have ammo mechanic. Okay, so we can... We can blindfold shoot. Uh, I think I want to shoot this, right? I forget if we're going for the core of the head. <laughs> Knife Leopard, I love this boy. That's right, kiddo. But don't lose track of your ammo. Bringing a damned gun to a fist fight. You nuts? Punk ass shameless cheater. I ain't got time to swat your damn flies. You're mine, blondie Cinderella. I can move one forward. <laughs> He's so charming. I love him. I can feel the impact all around. Take it easy, kiddo. Don't push that pile of junk too much. Watch out for the AP gauge. A real players got to know when to end their turn, unless that player's a crappy dumbass. Do I want to push them? Oh, I can't because it's 2 MP, so I can't just end on a push. Okay. Okay, so it is destroy chest part. Good luck, trash. Oh! Kiddo, don't let this bastard corner you. Go over him if you need to. Push it away. Oh, oh, sure hope that knucklehead's keeping an eye on his MP gauge. Else this dung bot ain't gonna budge an inch. Voice lines are extremely good. <laughs> I got a bad feeling about this. No way in hell this cardboard robot will withstand whatever's coming its way. Oh, we should have sold that piece of dirty crap before it got wrecked to hell. What a waste, kiddo. Oh, I can do my half ass punch at least. Come on. Hey, uh, can 
I defend? No, because I defend just reloads anyways. Oh, I could have moved back, maybe. Oh, shit. Maybe I should have moved forward. Oh, well. Well. I should have jumped over him. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, the dream is over. That huge mountain of crap has been my worst gamble yet. The kid's done for. Another week of chugging down toilet water and stale dog food. Oh, Duke. Oh! Oh, yeah, my cell phone. <laughs> Does he just have a like a patch of chest hair there? Shay? Sorry, dude. I'm kind of in the middle of something here. He ain't picking up. <laughs> That's an excellent cell phone photo. Of him. Apple's got a problem with phones. Childhood trauma. Now, if you'll excuse me. Shade's trying to be all cool, calling the guy in the toilet. Please, mister, call him again. Oh, no, I guess he just literally got the shit kicked out of him. Please call him again. <laughs> These villains! You sure you want to do that right now? It's the only time. A breach of contract. Sue me. I assure you, this is in your best interest. We're here to make things easier for you. Think of it as foreplay. Oh. It's actually so nice of me to throw you a life. So when it all goes to shit, you'll drown alone by your own fault. Last chance. Call the hillbilly and have him throw this fight. What do you say? Oh no. I can't give a shit. If these are the cards you're dealing, we shall go all in. Hey, Keller! Let's beat this hippie up. Why are you people always such assholes? You know what, moron? From the primordial soup to the fall of great civilizations, and now, just over the edge of the 21st century. No. Oh. Your lifestyles have evolved in so many ways. This but cat. You were assholes back then, and you're still assholes right now. Do you know what the pinnacle of human evolution is? C4. Plastic reliable explosive. It fits anywhere. In any shape. Almost undetectable. Perfect. In my line of work, I usually expect people to cooperate. But, as I've stated, people are assholes. And that C4 exists for me to accomplish my fucking job. Oh, this cat? Or is he a cat? Or I think it's a, actually it might be a cat because we have Duke. Now, where's the detonation device? <laughs> Dog humor. Remind me, why the hell do I even put up with you? Oh no, knife leopard. Born 
one of the broken men. Oh shit, does if Knife Leopard actually dies, that will legitimately be kind of sad. Day one, 62 days remaining. Pineapples. Save. Oh, okay, okay. Knife Leopard's still good. What the hell happened to your face? I fell. Into a punch? What's up, dude? First, let me brighten up your day. All I remember is that worm god guy. <laughs> Knife Leopard's voiced actor is really growing on me. Shades is, is a little tryhard, I have to say. He's, he's dead. there's something about the delivery that's not quite landing for me. But Knife Leopard is 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 starting to land. You mean he's dead? Oh, he did kill the other guy. <laughs> what the hell, dude? I remember him coming for me and then it all went white like a flash. That was the explosion, I guess. Explosion? Yeah, seems like we've been sabotaged. Don't ever you have think? a dog or you'll never pilot me again. How did that happen, dude? I might have sold your fight to some shady guys, but it's all in the past now. Wait, what? <laughs> anyway, how's it going, champ? Oh, these... Little, oh gosh, little insert shots! I love them! Uh, fine, I guess. A little dizzy, that's all. Good to know. The wizard is trying his best to be worried about you, but he's also over the moon, drowning in cash. Wait, I won? Seems like it. Well, yeah, I mean, the other guy died of a heart attack, and he didn't. Dude. Doc said you're mostly all right. Just a few more checkups, but you should be back in the saddle in no time. Two days or so. Where's Duke? Nurse said he was here a few minutes ago. I bet he's back with the cowboy. You know, keeping his hands busy. I better go check on him. He's not gonna like to see me, though. Does he ever? By the way, dude, how's the cowboy? Oh, I love Knife Leopard's line delivery. How's the cowboy? <laughs> Oh, Duke. Truck loaded with lots of crap crashing into another truck loaded with double the crap. <laughs> Utterly humongous pile of shit. Oh, I've seen my share of shit back in the day, but this, that's the most gruesome pile of shit I've seen since last Christmas. Calm down, wizard. It ain't that bad. And where the hell have you been? Checking on pineapples. He's good and all. Ready for the next one. Well, that's awesome. Except there ain't shit for him to pilot. Crap. Crap! At this rate, our winnings... What the hell happened to your stupid butt face? <laughs> butt face? Don't sweat, wizard. Just do your magic. My ass. Like talking to a goddamn cat. Oh, I guess that's why he calls him a cat man, where he's just like, eh, I'm, I'm doing. Like a cat. You didn't hear shit of what I said. This is a lost cause, cat man. This piece of turd is dead. Maybe we should look for a mechanic. No way. I can screw things up myself, and that's free. What do you suppose we do? Damn. Damn you, cat man. <laughs> he breaks out of the border. I love it. I'll fix this piece of crap. Duke is so fluffy. I'm gonna need a crap and miracle for it. A miracle and... Ugh. 
Grab a pen, you worthless piece of duck crap. Spit it. I've got a good memory. You better. Most of the hard frames and steel plates are bent and twisted. Circuits are fried, pistons dry. Secondary engines are busted, and the main engine is pure poop. Pure I poop. The engine with at least 21 cylinders. Spark ignition, supercharged DOHC. Double overhead cam, dry sump. And don't you dare bring me a wet sump. A wet sump. This dog will kill you. This robot ain't nothing short of a miracle engineering. I'm surprised I didn't find any duct tape holding. Oh. Yeah. Give me some scraps. Lots of them. Screws, nails, paper clips, whatever. I need a hundred pounds. <laughs> Twenty-one rolls. That should do it. Noted. So, what are you waiting for? A whole truckload of duct tape. Get out of my face, cat man. Where can I find this stuff? Dunno. Look for a junkyard or something. Ah, uh, I hope Shade's delivery changes a little bit as the game goes on. It's so... Excuse me, it's so flat compared to Duke and Knife Leopard's really, really quirky deliveries. Cigarette trail, that's really cute. Ah, it's a little, I love his little walking animation. It's just, it's what's this? Check. A real $20 bill. This must be my lucky day. Hell yeah. Probably just picked up our own money. Okay, so that's just Duke. Oh, we got little cues to interact now. I don't think that was in the demo. That's really nice. Go! That's weird that it's cut off like that. Guess there's nothing over there. We're gonna go, go. <gasps> Look at this navigation map screen. A little hospital, bounty hogs yard, hangar. I guess that's where we're at. I wanna go see our boy. I wanna go see Knife Leopard. It's kinda interesting that there's a whole hospital on the map. Like I guess you, nah, I've already checked on pineapples. What's over here? Ah, we've got little. Okay, I was wondering why there'd just be a hospital. There's just, just like your secondary areas, maybe for some little bonus. That's a very nice tree. Someone dropped the wallet here. Seems like it belongs to some old guy. Sorry, old man, but that's just the way it is. Don't bother none. Hmm, no cash inside. So I'm sure I can make at least 150 beats on this fine leather alone. Oh, well, he sold it immediately. Hell yeah. We're a sleazy fucker. I was gonna say the, the decision to make this monochrome is really, really smart, I think. They could pack in detail into the really interesting places with probably without it, like, weighing on the, the budget. I mean, it's gonna weigh on the budget, but... They were probably able to manage it a lot uh, better. See, yeah, I like it. They use kind of like a, yeah, like these high contrast, very detailed elements in the mid-ground. 
lower contrast little background there. Good, good stuff. What do we have here? A brand new paid cell phone in pristine condition. I bet it can get at least 50 beats on the street for this one. It's probably criminal evidence, though. Well, whatever. The real crime was throwing it away. Wow, cell phones sell... Oh, I don't want to go. Cell phones sell for less than leather. Okay. I guess that also kind of makes sense. They give away iPhones half the time with those contracts. Okay, that's a cool boarded up house. Do not enter. Go! Oh, that that's a butt. Got a booty, sir. Welcome to the Hog Stars, trash. Lady butt? That does make a difference. A place for trade and cash owned by a pig. Watch out for his money draining skills. I hope you two get along. Okay, bounty hog. Oh boy, who goes there? Oh, this is the enemy. The voices. Oh, oh, I guess that was just foam gun introducing us to bounty hog. Oh, what type? See, all your horses. We ain't talking about no car rental there, are we? No, this is for a mecca. A mecca? I see. Well, I don't work with that kind of stuff. Yet. I'm also looking for some scraps, screws, gears, nails, hairpins, metal bits. That I got plenty of. <laughs> the icon for the pig is very good. And duct tape. You don't plan to use those together, do you? Well, what brings a fella like you to Rain City? We gotta have noun plus city when we're in an anime. Who knows? Shot at a good payday, I guess. <laughs> Is there a better reason? So, you pilot one of those giant robots, don't you? Nope, not the pilot. I just manage stuff, keep things going. Hmm, interesting. Say, I got a nephew who happens to mess with this kind of stuff. He recently got a license for piloting. Got a license, just recently. I'll give him a call. It'd be good for you guys to stay in touch. <laughs> Maybe we can even make some money out of it. Sure. Well, all right then. How much do you need? About a hundred pounds and 21 rolls of duct tape. Will do. Let me fetch it for you. All right. We're getting our junk. There you go. Nice doing business. By the way, about that engine of yours, I might know someone who'll be able to help. Rumors say she's a witch, though, so be careful. Ooh, we gotta meet the witch character! The old lady, I love her! A witch? I cannot wait to hear her voice. <laughs> yeah, like a twisted hag and all. Crooked nose, black cats and crows. I swear I saw her riding a broom the other night. Anyway, I'll write you the directions. I'm no good with technology stuff. Uh, also, while you're at it, could you uh, deliver something for me? Could you uh, do a thing? No prob. Great. Nothing better than hard-working youths. You keep at it, you might become a millionaire, son. Uh, let me prepare the package. Fade the black while we get the thing. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. Send my regards to the witch. <laughs> Thanks for the help, uh, Mr. Shade. Ah, cool name, son. That's some way to sell yourself. Interesting names keep people curious. Curious people buy stuff, trust me. Well, we'll see you around. The crapyard is now available. All right, with the run by the pig. What is it, son? Okay, so we already checked there. I wonder if some. Of the oh, a goat. That's Barbara. 
Uh, I'm concerned. Barbara Streisand. She's got a real temper, but ended up being three times regional junk eater champion. My girl is a legend. They even call her the queen of pop because of the way she pops the can. <laughs> okay, this guy came right back around to being cute. I just got this goat to eat trash. A real beauty. And I love her because she eats trash because she's a cute one. I can't open that trash can. That's Barbara. Oh no, I don't want to listen to that whole thing again. What is this? Okay, so that's the same thing. Can I go in here? Nope. We'll go. It's interesting that we have this little intro area. It kind of doesn't feel needed. But maybe things like this mailbox and stuff will kind of open up as we go on. Oh, now we have the crap yard. Okay. Kenna. This little rock details are cute. Some weird atmosphere up here. What's all that noise about a witch? Anyway, not the time to let my guard down. Oh, the okay, I guess this is where the, the witch lives. This is the crap yard. Well, it used to be called scrap yard before the S fell off the sign. Still, there's a lot of cats around here, which means a lot of crap is buried here somewhere. So, the name is still kind of fitting, isn't it? These are cats? Some weird ass cats. The cat has a hat. I was like, oh, there's a little cat up there, too. It's a cat that fro for some reason. I don't think these are cats. That looks like a cat. That actually looks like May from uh, Night in the Woods. What brings you here, darling? <gasps> <laughs> I love her! I was told you could help me with a mech engine. Also, I got a package for you. A package? From who? The bounty hog. From that pig? Hand it over. <laughs> That's the best you can do. What is in the package? Bring, the pig. Bring in a pocket knife to a gunfight. Gosh, it smells like him. The hell is it? Trust me, you don't want to know. What? Arrow, what? Boy, huh? Bringing it here, no questions asked. That could be useful. Ah, her profile pic is so good. Anyways, Max, right, darling? What is it? Replacing parts? You really deal with this kind of stuff? <laughs> Doesn't look like it, does it? Times are changing, honey. Now, I may have some mileage. But I still know how to ride the shuttle. I love her. Anything you need or want, I can get it for you. That's the ZZ seal of quality. So, what do you need? A C engine. Okay, got it. C type, twenty-one cylinders, supercharged. Is it a dry sump or a wet one? Uh, I kind of want to bring him a wet sump. Just so he murders us. Sure thing, but I need to know what we're working on here. You got any blueprints for your Mac? Not that I know of. No worries, darling. Can I come over to have a look? Can I come over? I love her voice. Oh, honey, 
When I mean to harm, you'll know it. Okay. <laughs> Is it far from here? I'm out of vehicles right now. It's about a seven minute walk. Not even a warm up. <laughs> okay, lead the way, Garlin. What the hell is this mess? What did you say it was again? It's a B1 Gallo 07, ma'am. Call me ma'am again, and you'll be the dog in my next hot dog. <laughs> Sorry. This is outstanding. The way these circuits are placed. Oh, of course she likes it. The distribution of weight and the overall materials. Oh, a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're better off piloting a super safe trash can. Crap. Oh, we have a zoom in on the on the sprite. Oh, but I've seen worse, and I have fixed worse. This guy sure is a treasure. I've never seen one in any of my catalogs, and I got them all. Now, he's pretty unique, but like they say, just because you're unique doesn't mean you're worth shit. You mean he's a limited edition or something? No, not quite. I've never laid my eyes on a wild stallion like this one. The he's probably a custom, or even worse. Oh no, you got a wild, untested prototype, because that's how all mecha shows start. Yup. We bought the prototype someone scrapped. How did you guys end up on a date with this? It was a gift from a friend. A gift from a friend. Oh, is that the wolf stride? grave we saw in the front that they may have piloted cowboy the robot a gift. Oh, what kind of friend gifts a mech to someone the dead card yep I think that was uh, my apologies so I got it and uh, what are your expectations for this fella Let's just say our financial lives depend on it. I was kind of hoping we get a little bit more sass from Shade. Well, it'll be a while before you guys can turn this garbage into a lucrative endeavor. Endeavor. Brought it won a fight already. I love her. Wow, it did. It must have been sheer luck. Or you really got an outstanding pilot. Not the latter. Oh shit talking knife leopard. Sheer luck it is then. Now this kind of damage, it was not sustained in the regular sport, was it? It seems to me it was blown from the inside out. Are you aware of any malfunctions? No, there was an accident in our debut fight. Our adversary's arm exploded while striking the chest unit. <laughs> No, I see. And who's the mechanic in charge? It's me, ma uh, Sorry, uh, I'm the one responsible. Oh. <laughs> I'll be working closely with you. I need a whole body scan for a detailed briefing. After that, we can make a draft for custom parts and any adaptations needed for installing any existing mechanisms. Look, lady, we don't have that kind of cash. Look, dog, you'll have to make do. <laughs> no dog. One in the world will help you out with this piece of junk. Of course, you can do this by yourselves, but I've had a glance at what you can do, and it's mediocre at best. I don't even want to ask why this fella is carrying around a thousand rolls of duct tape. I'm seriously worried about anyone who would dare to sit in that trap of a cockpit. Cue Knife Leopard. You should show more respect for someone else's life, killer hound. We'll killer start hound. tomorrow. 
I'll need 10 grand for the blueprint, replacement parts, engine, framings, and new circuits. I'll hand you a handsome list. But... I'll send the contract via GM. Have it signed by tomorrow morning and send me a copy. All right, darlings. Let's turn this mess into a check. So, what do you think? What is there to think? I'm signing it. What? How the hell are we supposed to afford it? Besides, that woman is a piece of work. A piece of work. She's so? a delight. I think she's lovely. <laughs> oh, screw you, cat man. Chill out, wizard. You heard her. She's gonna make him a champion. More like she'll make a chump out of all of us. That's a whole load of cash. Think about pineapples. You really want him going through this all over again? Well, isn't that what you're gonna do when you dump the cash into the robot? The big guy might be a time bomb. Let's make sure Knife comes back alive. I guess they mean dump the cash and it'll make it good. Okay. That's why I wanted to sell this crapper from the beginning. Let's just cash in and go on about our way, slip by three. That's got to be a unanimous decision. Pineapples isn't budging, so no deal. We got to do what we got to do. Hell, Catman, we need a second opinion. On yeah, what? I got a good feeling about her. Witch and wizard working together. Don't you find it fitting? That old piece of hag sure looks like a damn witch. I bet she's a cat person. Well... Couldn't you smell it on her? I got rhinitis. Can't smell for shit. Oh. <laughs> End of day run. Sixty one days remaining. So, what's the great plan, Catman? Don't worry, wizard. Just focus on the big guy, and leave the rest to me. You better secure another source of income. Ten grand is about all our fight money. It's already taken a bump from our current bills, food and supplies, not to mention the hospital costs. I'm on it. Oh, yeah, you gotta pay for Knife's hospital bills. You ain't good for my health. Oh, don't make Duke stress. He's a good boy. He's fluffy. He's like all fluff. Let's see. I don't think we're gonna get lucky and find another 20 bucks, but hey, maybe. He's got such good animations when he runs. Look for jobs. Find a work around town that earn cash and prizes. New jobs will be available as you progress through the games. Might be a good idea to check on Knife. Hey, why the hell not? Let's fit it into the schedule. Knife Leopard. No stance pilot. Oh, I do have a save. See ZZ about the contract. Check on pineapples. Auto run. Oh, I got a lot of languages in here. Oh, I got a little animation there for Knife Leopard. Blindfold shooting, locks, slug reel, and nano repair. So we got a little bit of the healing. Go to the hospital, check on our boy. Yeah, let's see what's up with this tree. Maybe we'll find another, another wallet. No dice. Turn around. 
we go check on our boy instead. Which is, I guess there's no reason for us to walk the rest way through the hallways, but <laughs> we just plowed right into Knife Leopard's hospital. Inspect. There's a weird looking button here. Should I press it? Hell yes. No, oh, no. What did I do? What the hell, dude? Oh. So, that's what it does. How are you? I'm okay. A little dizzy, I guess. Something to do with my ears. The doc said not to worry about it, though. Huh, great news. Hey, seems like we got ourselves a real mechanic this time. What? Another one for the team? She was charging hell, but I got a good feeling about her. Nice. What about the cowboy? It'll be back on track in no time. Just leave it to us. Focus on getting the hell out of here. Sure thing, dude. Well, I'll be going then. I'm thinking about hitting the local bar today. Gonna get drunk, spend all my money today. Drinking and drinking. You should care more about your life, dude. <laughs> I am. I love Knife Leopard's expressions. He just like falls over. I guess we go check on the contract with the ZZ. At the crapyard. Oh, oh, sign contract. Cats? I'll admit. Yeah, yeah, you are. But what else was I supposed to do? They were flooding the streets of Rain City, and, well, I got space to spare, so... They're my family out here. Make me company and even guard this scrapyard. <laughs> well, you don't see any rats lurking around now, do you? Sure, they end up eating a lot of my savings, but we're working on that, right, darlings? <laughs> Pay me 10 grand so I can feed my 20 cats. Who am I to argue? Oh, look at that cat with his weird blinking. Sir, yeah, you okay, buddy? You don't look okay. Um, uh, I guess we'll try and work. I'm in need of a boy to deliver supply material. A boy. I am a boy. Oh, well, you can do that, can't you, honey? Just ride that bike over there and get it done before my clients die of weight. BD BDSM is now available. Oh. What what are we going to get here? Make deliveries to highly suspicious individuals wearing hazmat suits by the Oh, we got a little Mini game. Cycle as fast as you can and jump over obstacles to make your delivery in time. Oh lord. L1 dash. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so that's also an obstacle. Woo! I thought I was gonna hit the barrels. The hitboxes are a little weird. There were no hazmat people, though. I'm extremely confused. New routes for BDSM are available. I 
want to see there are better things to do with your life than working. I mean, that's also fair. Oh, okay, so there are there are delivery dudes in there. Oh, okay, so that's that's the that's the hitbox. Oh no. Okay, that was not dodgeable. I had I should have moved. Oh no. What? <laughs> I need to get more speed there, is what's, what's going on. We'll get it, we'll get it. I want to get better at that. I want to deliver it to all the people. Oh, I still didn't make it. I would like to deliver everyone's package. Ah. Oh. Well, at least got two now. We're figuring it out. Oh, I didn't get the third. I guess we got 60 bucks? Okay, okay, okay. Right. I guess we'll go ahead and sign the contract. You're not gonna regret this. I'm the best one there is. I can assure you that. Now, let's get the paperwork out of the way. Sign here. Now we have our mechanic on retainer. And here. Done. All right. Now we should start off by fixing that mess in a proper manner. I still got some stuff to do around here. Meet me later at the hangar. I'll walk you guys through the repairing process. Woo! Could have watched all our money just disappear. I got a little a couple thousand, I guess. We'll try that again. We'll do one more. Let's see if we can make another 60 bucks. Oh no! Not in our A game right now. At least we made one delivery. We got ten bucks. Oh, we're gonna hit that. I jumped too soon like a fool. Oh. Oh. Did I get any money at all from that? I guess I got a little bit, I guess. It's like I got like 70 bucks. We'll try that one more time and then we'll just move on to the back to the hangar. Oh, 
shit. Okay, so those definitely reduce your speed. Those are bad. Okay, so you can do square, and that's how you can build up your, your cycling. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, okay, we're kind of we're figuring it out, though. How much do we have now? Oh, we only got like, yeah, we only got like 50 bucks on that. Well, we got, we have one way to get Mona at least. It doesn't seem to do the Persona 5 thing where it, uh, like, makes the day go by. Lucky me, somebody dropped the $5 real bill. We got $5. <laughs> Do at least one mecha fight that wasn't the the intro. Hop over here. Oh, oh get more cute little visual novel. Yep. And what about you, Killer Hound? Finally, good delivery from Shade. What? You guys focus on getting him back into shape. I can't start working before I see the whole picture. Get rid of these metal bruises and straighten up those throats. I'll provide the needed... Oh, no worries. Yeah, I've been live for a bit, but... <laughs> it's also not getting the car, loser. It's I finished that one yesterday or the day before, so now it's Wolfstride, which I am very excited about. You miss maybe one of the most delightful intros to a game I'd seen in a while. Big Gurren Lagan energy. Do as you were told, and it's gonna be a smooth sail. Also, I think I did the play the demo for this a while back. The actual game has voice acting, and it's extremely good. Well, my job here is done for now. I'll be leaving then. See you around. I love ZZ. You heard the witch cat man. Just remind yourself that every hit will cost us money, so be mindful of your strike. And also, be gentle. This is not about strength. <laughs> not that you got any. But if you end up damaging it, I kill you myself. Duke's also got a really good voice. Wait, I thought you were gonna fix it. Shane. All of his lines sound like that. I will. Just need you to take care of the surface level. I'll be the one handling the hard stuff. Circuit, structure, and such. That's all on me. You're just the makeup artist. I'm the doctor. You're the dermatologist. I'm the surgeon. You're the fly. I'm the shit eating bacteria <laughs> diving deep into this wondrous piece of crap. You're a poet. You're a dumbass. Get to work, Catman. Just doing a loaded laundry and I'm gonna pass out, so I probably won't be able to watch long. Oh, I'll try to watch the VOD. Oh, thank you. No worries. I'm probably gonna I'm trying to get to at least the first mecha fight and then I'll probably call it. I was on stream for a while with drawing the the Airedale. You want to call it a day. I'll rest for a bit now. So no worries at all. You probably caught me at a good time. Oh, he's sleeping. Oh, he's got a little anime bubble. <laughs> Alright, gas leak. Rest a bit. I still got stuff to do around town, so enjoy your nap. Let's see what we got. Let me pick up some free money lying around. Yeah, the plot of the game is somebody was gifted a mecha, they entered it into some fights, 
immediately got it completely wrecked after trying to throw the match and get some extra money. Now we've got to fix it. All these little animations. Those are very good. Oh, we fixed that. Okay, so where's the... I think the arms are down here. No, this is the body unit. <laughs> we need it to be fixed. We can't go into battle with that half-fixed, uh, whatchamadoo. Okay, so this is where the mini-games are going to come into play, I'm guessing. I gotta do mini-games to top off the, the robot. I gotta fix this guy. There we go. Okay. Destroyed. Alright, now we got our arms and our robot. What else we gotta do? I think that's it. Yeah, I think there's only four parts to the robot. Just the... Just the... Sire ZZ, get a drink. Find a place to chill for once. Okay, so I guess if I go back to the thing, the bar might show up. Uh, I guess I could go talk to Knife Leopard. There's no bar. I go back to Bounty Hogs. Maybe Bounty Hogs is gonna tell us about a bar. Or there's also a tree next to the hospital that is just like a space, or I could maybe see if that is what's going to trigger the. Oh, oh boy, Mr. Shade. What brings you to my humble abode? I don't know. Oh, yep. Which okay, he's asking about the bar. Warhol, just like that dude, uh, Dandy Warhol. He's been struggling with his piece of junk for about a year now. Hey, you never heard it from me, but boy, did that mech have some issues. I bought a classic once, a real gem of a car, an endurance. Damn me if I didn't spend four times its value just to get it rolling. Eh, <laughs> uh, old cars. And I ended up selling it for half the price. That literally ended my third marriage. A good thing for once. But this guy would have a story like that. The hell? I'd be damned if the kid hasn't spent twice more than I did on his old ass mech. I mean, if you like the mech. Anyway. It's a good thing you asked. I just told him about you, and he's all fired up. I wonder where this guy is going to come into play. Because he wasn't in the demo. The other demo character was, uh, what's it? The the robot. Who knows? I'm even considering holding a match for you guys. Oh, uh, maybe he's just like your Gary Oak, your, 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 your kind rival. I won't make any promises, though. He might just be, yeah, he might just be your setup for the tutorial match. That makes sense. You're looking for a haven, am I right? Uh, there's the rider nearby. Cool place. I used to be close pals with the previous owner. He sold the bar a few months ago, packed up his things, enjoying the breeze in Hawaii now. Can you imagine? Wish I could drop Good gig. stuff as well. Just gotta hold on a little longer. Anyway, I'll write you the direction. Thanks. Oh, we got the bar. Also, Joy, the new bartender. She's a good kid. You two might get along. Don't like that she referred to her as a kid, Tell but... I said hi. The Midnight Rider. Oh, we already talked about your nephew. Uh, let's go see if you got any money I can steal from your yard. Because I'm a... Terrible bitch. Let's see. Oh, no, I don't want this. My girl is a legend. They even call her the queen of pop. Because of the way she pop a real. The goat is the champion of junk eating competitions. Queen of pop. At first, I was like, oh, no. Why is there a goat that he loves and named Barbara? And he is a pig, I am concerned. But it's just... He just has a weird hobby. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Alright. Now we're going to the bar. 
and I don't think I have any money left. Oh, there's the Midnight Rider. Oh, that's cute. Oh, is that a bird man, dog man? Hi, mister. Would you be so kind to inform the servant? Pan? What? Be lost? Oh, no, mister. This servant is always on the path to greater fortune. This servant has not peed for the entire day. I'm about to explode. What? Why don't you go to the bathroom? Where? I guess there's one right behind you. What <laughs> shades to Lurry? Oh, indeed. You speak the truth. You're so very, very kind, mister. You're not gonna go? Where? What? The bathroom. Oh, no. This servant perseveres just a bit. Two days won't be impossible. Sir, that's how you get a, a UTI. That's you I just just piss. Greater fortune. But thank you so kindly, Mister. You're a good Mister, Mister. <laughs> this train derails. What was this encounter? I'm a, I can't talk to him again because he's standing there holding his pee. Okay. Where is the bar? Now that's more like it. Oh, here's our dive. Welcome to the rider, stranger. Oh, she is cute. I'm feeling at home already. <laughs> Don't hold back. Welcome into the Midnight Rider. Keep an eye out for this one, Trash. Don't stuff your face too much. Maybe you'll get a glimpse. Ooh, a glimpse. Of what this place is all about. It's a dive. It's about bad pizza at four in the morning and mediocre white Russians. It's a dive bar. Sorry to bother you. Do you know anyone that goes by the name uh, Moonshine? Oh, oh, okay. Doesn't ring a bell. Oh, well. Thanks anyway. Get some interesting characters. I love it. I love it. This guy knows how to party. Uh, look, what is this? Oh, okay. I like this. A two hundred dollar bill. Wait a minute. This ain't RD. Shit's from Monopoly. <laughs> Dang pranksters. Ah, well, might as well keep it. What is this in my godforsaken pocket? Hey, a ten dollar bill. How long have you been hiding in there, my friend? Don't worry, I'll treat you to a drink. That was a whole lot of writing just for checking the bath the women's bathroom, but I like that they put it there. Oh, can he play the piano? <gasps> what? <laughs> now. Nope, he cannot play. He will try anyways, and I applaud his enthusiasm and the game devs for putting the head in there. Ooh, jukebox. <gasps> that juice box is out of commission. It was like that when I arrived. Juice box? Maybe I can fix it. Huh. Maybe I could pay you for that. We're missing old school music around here. Nobody knows how to play that fucking piano. Uh, nope. No, this sure don't. Alright, so let's talk to Joy. Get a drink. How's the movement around here? Dead. Sounds like a I love her profile. Every hour. So what's it gonna be? In fact, I've got a hunch. Ooh, what do we think Shade drinks? I bet he drinks something basic. And terrible. Um, whiskey on the rock sounds like one of those generic cool guy drinks that they would put into a game like this. So that's gonna be my guess. He's got like cowboy vibes. 
Oh, no, they're just gonna be like, ah. <laughs> Here's a drink. All right. I have a little bum in and give him a drink order. What brings a guy like yourself to this rain hole? I came for a funeral. Oh, so now we finally do get the... Maybe some of the details. All we know is that the, the mecha he's trying to fix was given to him and the dog, Duke, by a dead friend. And he is not originally from Rain City. Yeah, that'll brighten up the mood. What about you? I heard you took over the place recently. Trying my luck. Keeping food on the table. It's not really my thing. But it gets me to know people. Hear stories. I'm in need of that right now. Mm, I get uh, Hope enough. we get out of there, lady. Here you go. Her pro little profile Long picture's so good. Rum and Coke! <laughs> he is a basic bitch! That is my drink order, you basic bitch. Damn. You're good. You can't fuck up a rum and coke. It's rum and coke. <laughs> what what would magically make a what would ma what rum and coke would make you go like, "Wow, you're a really good bartender." <laughs> coke is good and rum is good. It's more impressive if you fuck it up. You seem like a rum and cola guy to me. She just called him a basic bitch. Me and this drink. We've got history. Of being real basic. Cheers. Happy 2017. I love that it takes place in the past. I wonder if that's going to become something more common with games as things move forward, is that they just kind of make it a future past. So they never have to worry about weird, oh, Death Stranding predicted the near future because we had a pandemic and no one left their house or whatever the fuck. You better drink more than that. <laughs> I got a family to keep. You basic bitch. Well, good thing I dropped by to show my support. I wish they changed his inflection delivering a line just a little bit to pretend he had a rapport with Joy, but he's just not, and I'm real bum. That's 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 the one part of the game that's not landing is shade. Uh, Shades line deliveries. I don't like their direction for anime cool protagonist guy. He's he's. I really hope he becomes a deconstruction of it because he he's bootleg Kamina, but without any of the 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 inflection that Kamina has. And I kind of I I like I said I hope they do something with that. It could be a lot of fun. Do we want to talk to her again? I'll be waiting. Okay, we, we're gonna see her little profile again. We got our drink. Um, but I love the detail that is animated as our little little rock'em sock'em robots. Let's head out. I may not do the first fight of this game tonight because I am kind of dragging. Uh. Midnight Rider Crapyard. I think we want to go back to the hangar. Alright, where is everybody? Are you still sleeping? Do I have another task? Nope. I do not. Maybe I can wake him up. Call it a day, yeah. This day will end and never come back. Just like your youth, are you sure? No, I'm gonna maybe do some more work. Also, Audrey, I don't know if you're still there. This game had the best message I have ever seen for skipping a cutscene. Uh, crap yard. It pops up with a message that just says, every time you skip a cutscene, an artist dies. Option one is, all right, let's kill another one. <laughs> Oh, and then the other one, the other option, sorry, I'm Nick misclicked. Let's try this one more time. 
of this. Try and make a little bit of money. Oh, fuck. I should not have hit that like a fool. We are better than that now. Okay, so we don't have to be right next to him to get the delivery, so that's nice. Oh! Oh, that sh I really should have just hit that. Oh, okay. Wow, okay, we just... <laughs> well, we got two. Oh, I forgot my dash control, too. Well, two deliveries. They made 50 bucks. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I've never been really good at some of those little flash mini games, so. What is making that goofy ass noise? Something triggered a like ambient fan and it has not stopped, and though I strongly suspect it uh was in this scene. Hit the sack. Tomorrow is another one. Oh, it's still going. I hate it. End of day two. Day three. It definitely sounds like something's glitching in the background. Okay, thank God. My apologies. Things got a little. Oh no! Don't touch knife leopard. you know the better we just came to see how you're doing i was hoping i'd bump into that uh, friend of yours Jay? no don't you dare hurt knife leopard he's a good boy something like that he just wants to punch people in robots well it was unfortunate our pilot passed away he had a weak heart from the start god worm should not be missed though he was a seven star criminal did you know that Seven star criminal. What does that even mean? Mm. Larceny, fraud, blackmail, robbery, drug dealing, you name it. He wasn't a murderer, though. <laughs> he, was, he wasn't that bad of a dude. Seven stars, but wasn't a murderer. So, well, put your heart and mind to rest. The world is better off without him. Not that you killed him. <laughs> very, very specific. His funeral was something of a rock star's. Really crowded. Seems like he had a few criminal fan clubs. That asshole. Too bad you had to get in the way of our plans. You had, you had, to, you had to fuck up our plans of, of fucking over other people. Huh? Nah, well, what the hell. Let me ask you a question. Knife Leopard's just so confused. Have you received any kind of proposal from the Soviets? Are you what? You sure as hell smell like one. <laughs> Excuse me, are you a commie? What? <laughs> no, I'm not a communist, dude. I don't know shit about the Soviets. What the hell is going on? Well, do you know anyone at all that has been in contact with the Soviets? Perhaps your shady friend? <laughs> Knife Leopard has my absolute favorite deliveries so far. Yeah. All right. You seem to be telling the truth. Well, that's it, Mr. Knife Leopard. Thank you for your cooperation. Uh, we hope to be hearing from you soon enough. We'll keep an eye out for you, just in case. Don't do anything you wouldn't do in front of your mother. Oh, maybe they're just asking about that just so they seem like cops and not criminals or something. That makes sense. Let's leave the hillbilly alone. Well, 
we ever get Knife Leopard's real name or the story behind why he is named Knife Leopard. <laughs> myself where the hell did i take the wrong road you're a poet wizard maybe a songwriter you should give it a try i'd rather break a guitar on your neck the hospital called said the kiddo could, could go. go that's great damn right it is i'm tired of being around you all day Stupidness is starting to rub off on me. I need some brains around here. Some brains. I don't think Z will be coming today. I was talking about the kid. Oh, wait, the kid has brains? Shut your trap and let's go get him. Knife Leopard is the only child of Sword and Dagger Leopard. It's a family name. I would 100% believe it. We have a, we have a pig who goes by Bounty Hog, a dog. Like I, I'd buy it. I want that to be real. <laughs> Sir, could you please put out your cigarette? I can't. It's eternal. <laughs> I think that's the only good line delivery he's had so far. It's eternal. The patient is still under observation. You should refrain from any physical endeavors and avoid situations of stress. May I remind you, your friend has been punched several times by a three-ton giant metal hand. <laughs> three-ton giant metal hand. It is the equivalent of surviving a sequence of several car crashes. That's how stupid this sport is. Sounds like it'd make good money and watchable entertainment. Don't get him back in there anytime soon. Never is the optimal choice. Oh, man. Well, Knife Leopard, you're, you're, we're gonna go to a ring tomorrow. Let's get to getting. How are you, kiddo? Great. The dizziness has worn off. I think I'm good to go. I'd like to get back to training as soon as. Hold your horses, kid. You heard the doc. Let's take it slow for a while. You may even use this time to get used to the idea of selling that robot and cashing in. Not gonna happen, dude. <sighs> okay, let's get back to the hangar. Knife Leopard is a very convincing, like, early 20-something dumbass. Go ahead. I need some fresh air. I love him. Very, very big, too dumb to no hate energy from Knife Leopard. Shade, on the other hand, is smart enough to think he's really smart, but really isn't. Ooh. Uh oh, someone probably robbed me. Pod's calling. How the hell did he get my number? Yeah, that is weird. Ah, uh, that you, son. Hey, why don't you come over? I got an irrefutable proposal right out of the money oven just for you. Nope, it's our first fight. We're gonna fight his nephew. Cause we got we got our boy. We might do the first fight then. Uh Bounty Hog's yard. We'll go fight Dandy Warhol. I mean, Knife Leopard versus Dandy Warhol. Do we think Dandy Warhol's a pig? Oh boy, Mr. Shade. What brings you to my humble abode? You fucking called me, bro! Awesome timing. Just awesome. So, my nephew's coming to town. Yep. We made a cool agreement that you may be interested in. I'm listening. He's coming the day after tomorrow, and he's bringing his wonderful robot with him. Fancy boy. Fancy boy. Oh no, he is, he is a, a pig. I remember, he was in the demo, because that was his second fight after Godworm. So, we figured, hey, I could clear out some yards here and there, and voila, we got an arena. Of course, you can't have 80 meter tall robots fighting in your yard. That's freaking illegal, you're thinking. But... 
it so happens, I am the man. I got the contacts. Friends in places so high you could mistake them for aliens. I got enemies too. I grabbed them by their sacks. With one squeeze, I... Anyway, it's happening. The day after tomorrow. Your big guy versus my nephew's fancy boy. What do you say? Cowboy versus fancy boy. What's in it for us? <laughs> I like your style, son. I like it a lot. Nothing is for free. Not even a little thought. I'll be holding some bets. Gathering a crowd. Don't worry about it. I'll pay you well even if you end up taking a beating. It's all legal. <laughs> what do you say? I mean, it sounds illegal, but I'm in. Awesome. I knew you're my boy. You'll never disappoint. Hell, you might even be my forever lost child. Coming back after all this time. Ah, I'll get back to you then. Alright. Don't forget. Today a fancy tomorrow, boy. Alright. 9 p.m. 210 and 0. Fight night. It's going to happen. Ooh. All daily tasks completed. Uh, I guess I can go check on how much money I have and maybe do work. I don't have that much money. Oh, what is that awful noise? Maybe it's intended. And I'm just not noticing something that I should be. I, th I think it's a glitch, though, because this game, like, just came out, and that seems, like, ripe for one of those things that would just happen, like, a little, uh, like, a walk past a trigger. We'll do this real quick. Get some money. Gotta get money. Oh yeah, we got two of them. Okay, that's pretty nice. Maybe we'll get that third today. Maybe it'll happen. Oh. If only I could figure out the dashes a bit more. What is that noise? All right, we're gonna... Mm, one more. I kinda just wanna get that third delivery. Oh, I think I wasted that dash. Oh, oh, wow, okay. We did not waste it. Alright, we got the second one. Oh, no! Ah! The groove is gone. Very much gone. Ah, we're fucked. Ah. No, how did I just fuck up so bad? Okay, I want to get that third one. Hi there, darling. I heard your pilot is finally off the hook. Now that's great news. We're doing fine. I'd be happy to introduce you guys. Can't wait to see the bastard crazy enough to ride that broken bull. Unfortunately, that has got to wait. Something has come up. 
I'll leave you to it then. Well, we've got time for an errand or two. Don't sweat about it. As soon as my schedule clears up, I'll be with you guys. One more. I'm gonna get that third guy. I'm not gonna fuck it up this time. We got it. We're no one's fool. First one. All right, second one. We're getting our Neopets flash game mojo back, but I don't want to be too boring. We'll see what's going on with the hangar. And I really, really hope that weird noise stops. Because I hate it. Catman, you gotta stop this madman. Dying of boredom, dude. I gotta do something. <laughs> you should listen to the doc. <laughs> Just jumping around. I am. Doing nothing is stressing me out. I want a pilot again. Well, that's great to hear, because I got a proposal. Cat ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> You're one day out of the hospital. Let's go get you back in the seat. In, the day after tomorrow. To get fucked up. Your opponent would be a guy named Fancy Jackass Warhol or something. I heard his mech is a pile of crap, but honestly, I've been hearing that a lot lately. I'm in. Wait, no. You freaking crazy bastards. <laughs> Am I the only one who's got two brain cells to make a spark here? Kinda. We were promised some cash, even if we lose. How much we talking about? Why don't you discuss it with Hawk? Make sure you get a good amount. You know I suck at this, right? Just go for the moon, wizard. Start from there and back down if you need to. I'm gonna strip him naked. <laughs> make sure I'm not around. Hell yeah, dude. I'm all pumped up. Let's do this. By the way, I've been thinking about it. We need a personal trainer. Oh, is this where the robot comes into play? The robot's the personal trainer? What? What? So you don't strain your body to hell. We need a pilot coach. Someone who can offer some guidance as to what you should do inside and even outside the mech. Sounds expensive as hell. A pilot coach? You mean like a boxing coach? Like Genki Kamagawa? I know nothing about that otaku talk. <laughs> yes, you need a coach. We're already working on the big guy. Now we need to make sure you won't die inside. You think we're some kind of millionaires? We were for some time. But no. I heard that there are some coach robots trending right yep, now. Yep, it's the robot. It's like a robot that helps you get thin, or teaches you how to play tennis, or Krav Maga, whatever. You get the idea. We just need to find a model that fits our budget. A robot? Crazy cool, dude. Can I name it? I don't see why not. Super cool, dude. Uh... Knife Leopard occasionally goes like full Bill and Ted's and it, I, I love it. I just find it endearing. <laughs> the whole thing has kind of got a charming retro feel, so he feels right. Fight, robot coach. 
something classy like uh, James Charles. <laughs> eh, on second thought, it sounds like the butler's name. Nothing against butlers, but I don't think it should be a subservient robot or anything like that. It's got to have its own personality, free will. You know, it's just gonna run away if we do that, right? No, dude. We can be good to it, so it'll never want to leave. We can be a family. <laughs> nah, dude. We just gotta be. It's gotta be cool. <laughs> Maybe it should choose its own name. I like the sound of Marlene. If it was a girl, though. Who am I gonna fight again? Hog's nephew. Fancy whatever. Is he strong? You think the cowboy can make it? Don't know. Never saw his mech. I don't even know if our mech will stay standing, but it's worth a shot. He will. He didn't let me down. You guys don't know that yet, but me and him, we got a connection. Cause it's a mecha anime, so of course you do. The cowboy isn't just a mech, dude. In time, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Cause he's a prototype mech in a standard mecha anime. How about, oh, look at your little, little doggy arms. You swing a little hammer. He ain't doing this for a GW. He wants to pilot this thing like a little girl wants to ride a pony. <laughs> we should team up and just vote against it. I've even made a list. Pros is selling the cowboy. One, get our hands on some good cash. Two, knife doesn't have to die for it. Three, I can say goodbye to Catman and not see his face again for another 30 years. 30 is a very specific number there, Duke. One word. Irresponsible. And that witch will agree with me on this one. You're not gonna get away with this, Catman. But we could get some more cash. Yeah, and I'll make sure we get the most stupid deal ever. From Hog's point of view, of course. Next time, keep your ideas in your pocket. Coaches were a good thing back in the 90s. Nowadays, they're just a bunch of grifters with no love for their own mothers. Speaking of which, we should get a vacuum cleaner robot instead. How about that? It has been my mother's dream for the past two years. <laughs> oh, wait. No, I don't think I'll call it it just yet. I go bouncing. What do we got around here? Oh. So that's fixed, though. So the cowboy's ready to roll. Scratch my ear really quick. Uh, yeah, let's see if we got any tasks around. Oh, well. We'll just go to the crapyard really quick. Uh, hog called somehow. We'll do one quick bike thing. One quick bike thing. And then we'll call it a day and see where we land with the fight. I am getting a little bit tired. So I don't know if I'll make it through the fight. Whoop. Oh no, it was too soon. I had my finger like on X to just go, but it just was not to be. Ah! Still a fool. 
we will not try that again. We're going to end the day and see where we land with that fight. And I don't know if we're going to get a chance to beef up the cowboy at all. I think this is going to be the, like, the, this, the, this is your, like, starting point fight. Now, now you can upgrade. And we might even fail at this one against Fancy Boy. You go ahead and rest up. I'll keep an eye on the kiddo. I don't want this giant piece of junk to be wandering around in the middle of the night. Why do I always got to act like his father? I'm only 32, you know. Only oh, 30. Oh, is he going to say in dog years? I know, but I'm doing it anyway. What is that flippity flippity noise? 59 days remaining. One day to fancy boy. Oh, maybe now we'll get the, to upgrade the robot. We got a lot of work ahead of us today. Knife lover does not wear a shirt. I love it. Circuits and such. I could use a hand, though. Leave it to me, dude. I'll talk to the witch. See if she can help us out. Witch? It's our junior mechanic. Junior mechanic. The other way around, but yes, you'll meet her soon enough. I'll be looking for your coach robot as well. That's it. Let's roll. Roll. That's a good line delivery. Let's roll. Wait, dude. I'm all fired up. This is gonna be awesome. Have you thought about that vacuum cleaner yet? Hell, we could use one around here. Let's see. Yes, that's all good. I think I'm gonna trigger... Let's see what we got. See what Z knows. I'm gonna go trigger. I think it's probably gonna be the upgrades with ZZ. And then we'll see where that leaves us. Cause that'll put us at around two hours and I'm getting kinda, like I said, tired. Bummer that we didn't get to the first fight though. Or won't have gotten to the, oh, now I can see where the chief's got the robot coach. Sure. You guys are thinking about acquiring one? I can get one for you. Just hold tight. Let me show you some options. I'm kind of surprised we're getting options because I was almost positive the coach robot was a character that you just, like, got. Here you go. Angle Breck models are the best. They're unrivaled. You want a robot that can cook, take care of the house, and learn anything you need it to? Engelbrecht is your brand. Everything about them is exceptional. Except They're we broke. Expensive, though. I see. I was looking for something cheaper. No, oh, we got entourage companions as well. But I can't go any lower than them. Beyond that point, things start to get unreliable at best. At best. Okay, I can't afford a robot that's worth a brand new car. Well, I'm afraid I can't help you. I only work with stuff I really believe in. Fair. I won't sell you a faulty robot. In fact, I strongly advise you not to buy one. And very much like their human counterparts, coaching robots are mostly scams or cons. I've seen my share of messed up AIs. Believe me, Asimov would burn it all down. I'll give it some thought, but thank you. You're welcome, darling. Anything else I can do for you? A robot coach. Uh... Got some news for you. We got a fight scheduled. Great. How much time do we have? A month? <laughs> Actually, a little less. Just a little. Weeks, then. The just... fight is tomorrow night. Just a little less. You're joking, right? Well, of course not. <laughs> why would you? Why so soon? Cause fuck it, why not? It just happened. It just happened, huh? Let's see what I can do. Let me finish up my business around here, 
I'll drop by your hangar as soon as I can. Oh, uh, do we want to try? No, let's not do another round of the Hoots and Wutzes because we still haven't unlocked upgrading. Uh, Midnight Rider for robots? I think I still have that task. Oh no, I'm supposed to go to Hog. Bounty Hogs Yard. Let's see what we're getting from Bounty Hog. Oh boy, Mr. Shade. What brings you to my humble abode? A sure, robot coach. coach myself. What do you need? A cheap one. Cheap? Now that's a word I don't like to hear when I'm not buying stuff. Uh, but uh, since it's you, we may find a way around it. Uh, I used to have this one in the catalog. I bought a whole stock of them. It was an entrepreneur thing. An entrepreneur thing. Investors, and it seemed fairly promising. <laughs> Too bad it flopped like a fish out of water. I got rid of most of them. What I couldn't sell, I dismantled and sold for parts. But there were so many. I think there's still one laying around. Oh, yep, here's our robot somewhere. coach. Let me fetch it for you. Here we go. Got our final character. People, the all purpose diva. robots for all your daily needs. People can display hologram images for distant calls. People can talk in any language. People can do all of your home chores. People has a seven split part HD for different personality setups. Loves children. Nice arms. People plays music to enlighten your day. Pee-poo is perfect for taking care of your kids. I feel like a child made pee-poo and then pee scammed everyone. Teach everything through his flush chip. Pee-poo? Uh, that's right, son. On second thoughts, I don't know how I got into that. <laughs> well, anyway, this guy is cheap. And I bet it could be really useful if you make some minor adjustments to it. Uh, it might be buried somewhere around here, no? How much? Uh, Almost free. A hundred butterflies. That's what. But did you see how many things? It I wonder if I could haggle with them. Yeah, and there might be a reason why this guy's buried in your yard. Uh, you got a point. How about ninety then? Fifty. Ooh, I can. 70. 60. Ah, you're breaking my legs, kiddo. Six oh. five butterflies and it's my final offer. That's the deal of your life, kid. You're not gonna regret it. I wanna see it first. Where is it? Uh, you, uh, you got a shovel? <laughs> no. Well, I can rent you a shovel. The first one's for free. Dig, and you'll find it for sure. I can rent you a shovel. This guy. A few hours later. The hell is this? Oh, ding, ding, ding! You found it, son. You gotta be kidding me! This ain't worth shit. Oh, whoa! You'll hurt its feelings, Mister. It just needs some slaps here and there, and it'll be working like no. Just a little bit. It's fine. It's fine. This ain't fair, Hog. It ain't so bad. I bet it's just some dry dirt. Shake it off and it'll shine like new. This is a piece of shit. Alright, alright. Can't blame me for trying. Business is business. I'll uh, give you your money back. You can keep it for free. Okay, okay. So it didn't really matter. I think I want this. Not even for free? Come on, son. What's got into you? This is just a piece of dirt. What the hell am I supposed to do with it? <laughs> I don't know, but I 
don't want this shit popsicle around here either. It kind of kills my vibe. Kills my vibe. This looks like a ball of turd. I ain't taking it home. Oh, <laughs> the robot's gonna pipe up and start slapping somebody. Hey. Here we go. Well, I'm willing to pay you. How much you want to take this trash off of my property? Hey. It smells like dead chicken. I don't want to hear these stupid, useless turds were leaking radiation. That's why the whole shit flopped. <laughs> A radioactive robot to be a health coach. And you want me to keep this radioactive piece of trash? Hey, enough of that, you bunch of pee! I can hear it all. Oh. Oh. For crap's sake! That atrocious lump of garbage! It's 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 alive! The faces are very good. What the? What? <laughs> Where are my brothers and sisters? My family? My people? Mom, can you hear me? My battery is low. Low. I didn't. I did not expect a robot to have a voice. I don't know why. He wasn't voiced in the uh, demo and he had some of the wildest lines. This is a light. You got Marlene. No, this isn't it. It even speaks Japanese, dude. Let me have a closer look. Don't hug it. Shit's radioactive. <laughs> Don't hug it. Oh my god. I love it. And it's all yours, son. Oh no. Butterfly. So cheap. We're not paying. No, it's not radioactive. Who told you that? Wow. Bounty Hog just really wanted to get rid of it. He can't tell his own elbow from his ass. I ain't detecting anything except for this awful smell. It's like it's dead. Crap, Cat Man. She just needs some love and grooming, that's all. She? She can be a he as well. She'll decide when she wakes up. I've never seen a robot <laughs> like this. This is obviously a scam. It is a scam. <laughs> Wait, no, we didn't pay for it. We brought back a rusted honk. We'll see. Then get rid of it. I can get you a true model. We can pay in installments. Nah, we'll keep it, dude. I saw her in action. She's awesome. Is that your pilot? Oh yeah, they haven't met. Bullseye. We might be in a deeper hole than I thought. <laughs> is she the witch you guys have been talking about? Oh. Which? Well, well. <laughs> Would you care to explain that, killer hound? She's the one who came up with that. I never do that. <laughs> uh, I don't care what you say about me, but do it to my face. Oh, I'm a witch, all right. And you'll see what I'm capable of in the upcoming days. It's easy, don't give a now, fuck. Let's get down to business. We got a fight tomorrow. And double the stupid robots to fix. Oh, <laughs> because I just got the other coach robot. Oh, daily task completed. Can we interact with them, Peepoo? Your name? Doesn't sound too fitting. Well, it's her choice. I'll give her a good long bath and figure out where that smell's coming from. I bet she's shining as a spaceship under this thick crust of dirt and mud. Maybe she can teach me Japanese. My Portuguese ain't half bad. Se o fio de puta.
Let's see what he's got to say about Pipu. Good job, Catman. Really good job. I'm really, really disgusted and insulted by everything you do. That's your job, isn't it? To make my life hell. Oh, old Duke. Oh, I don't want to call it day just yet. Is ZZ around? I forget where ZZ hangs out. Because there's our little break room. We don't ever have to worry about hangar rent, which is nice, apparently. We just have the spot. Oh, ZZ? I thought ZZ hung out up here. Or maybe she's not, like, a permanent crew member just yet. Because she's still, like, on retainer. <gasps> that is a big yawn for me, so we're gonna save. It's on the record, trash. We're gonna save and call it here. Uh, I think this is gonna be the first one that we put up on YouTube, just because content for the content gods. Why not? We'll throw it up there, make some thumbnails, and that'll be this will be the first like full Let's Play archive that'll go up there. Cause why the fuck not? Twitch uh, deletes the old uh, ones and since uh, Get in a Car Loser wasn't a full one, I'm not going to bother with it. Which is a bummer. Alright. Thank you guys for coming out. Good night.